Welcome. This is a yoga class to help stretch the upper body, targeting the upper back, chest, shoulders, and neck. We'll begin seated in any comfortable position and just taking a few deep inhales here and really feeling the breath expand your ribs, your lungs, just centering yourself and maybe notice how the body feels as you inhale, creating that space. And as you exhale, softening the shoulders, letting go. And we'll come to center. Go ahead and take the left wrist in line with the left shoulder and just dropping that left hand straight down. Sitting up tall or go ahead and draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. You can stay here or just find a bit of movement rocking the heads forward and back. And just observing the body here. Notice what you're feeling throughout that left arm, maybe the neck, maybe the upper back or chest. And we'll gently release, just shake it out, and we'll switch sides. So taking that right hand straight out, drop it to the mat. You can sit upright or drawing the left ear towards the left shoulder. Option again to find a bit of movement. I'm really feeling the body throughout this movement. So being here present with the body, with the stretch. And we'll gently release, shake it out. And we'll go ahead and inhale the hands up overhead. Exhale, go ahead and place the palm of the right hand just resting on your back. And you can place the left hand on the right elbow. So this might be a bit intense. Feel free to grab opposite elbows instead. So just having your arms just above your head kind of like a square. And if you need to, go ahead and just grab the wrists. And if this is just completely inaccessible today, perfectly fine. No worries, find something that does feel better for you. Know that in time, we will get there. We'll release and just switch arms. So just placing the palm of the left hand to the upper back or whatever variation feels best for you. And again, just Checking in with the body here, checking in with the chest, the shoulders, the upper back. And we'll release, give yourself a nice big hug. And when you release, go ahead and interlace your hands behind your back, drawing the fist towards the mat. As you gently start to lift the chin up, 
nothing too intense. We don't want to intense back bend here. We just want to start to create that space within the chest. And we'll lift the head back up, take the neck in a neutral position. We'll go ahead and draw the fist towards the left hip, taking your gaze over the right shoulder. And we'll switch sides, just taking the fist over towards the right hip and gazing over the left shoulder. We'll gently release. And we'll come to a tabletop pose, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And just starting to walk the hands towards the top of the mat. As you sway side to side, gentle sway here. Drawing the chest towards the mat. Now you can stay in your sway or you can come right into your puppy pose, taking the chin and chest to the mat or just take the forehead to the mat. You can even place a block underneath the forehead for added height and support. And of course, if this doesn't feel right today, feel free to come to something that does feel better for you. Every pose is optional. And we'll gently release, sending the hips towards the heels, forehead or cheek to the mat for child's pose. Now you can have the knees closer together or you can take the knees further apart for a wide leg child's pose, whatever feels best today. We'll draw the breath into the chest. As you exhale, softening the shoulders, the upper back. Allowing the arms to be heavy, hands to be heavy. Softening even the fingertips. We'll gently come out of the pose. We'll cross the ankles, coming all the way down to our backs. Planting the feet on the mat. We'll take the elbows in line with the shoulders. Now you can stay right here if this feels okay, or you can take it deeper by crossing the right knee over towards the left. Now this is completely optional. You can also place pillows underneath that right knee for added support. You can even place a few pillows or folded blanket underneath the right shoulder for less of a twist.
and we'll gently release and we'll switch sides. Now only do this twist if it does feel best today. It can be a bit intense if you are feeling very stressed and um, a lot of tension within the upper body. So feel free just to have the arms in a goal post uh, position or just take it deeper crossing that left leg over towards the right. And of course, option to modifying your supine twist, placing pillows underneath the knee and underneath that left shoulder. We'll release coming back to center hugging the knees towards the chest big hug here give yourself some love for showing up to the mat today big hug maybe even rocking side to side When you're all set, we'll take the feet to the bottom of the mat. Hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. We'll take this one moment out of our day, out of our practice to just be, to be here with the body in its fully relaxed and present state. Soaking in all the work we just did, observing the body, giving gratitude once again for showing up to the mat today know that you are worthy of this time this space to feel your best this time for you know that this space is here for you anytime that you need We'll begin to gently wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side, maybe bending the knees. We'll roll over towards our right, full inhale, and exhale. 
will come to a comfortable seat. Inhaling the hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.